Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Lit Code question 502 IPO. So this question is a pretty much complex to understand at first sight but I will make sure that I will divide this question in small small bits so that it's easy for you to understand. So this is some story that you are given here. I will explain you in simple terms. See, here you are you are given one profit item and each for each profits of phi there is some capital of I related to it. Now initially you had W capital. Initially you had W amount of capital. And at max you can do K uh, projects, right? You can do K projects, correct? So and at the end we need to return maximum uh, capital at the end, right? And it will be it will always be an integer. Okay. Now there is one constraint. So the constraint says that in order to take a project I, you must have the capital of I. Okay. Now, uh, okay, but before that, let me tell you that uh, what you need to maximize this equation tells to find to get maximized capital. See, what is capital? Capital is just the initial capital. See, in this capital, understand it as a money. It is the initial money that you have plus all the profits that you have obtained. All the profits that is obtained will be added to your total capital. Means total money, right? Profit is also money in one case. Yeah. So here you have this uh, uh, profit item and this capital item. So uh, so understand see understand this profit as money. Let's break down in simple terms, right? And this is what W is what initial money. Initial money. K is what total projects you can do, or maximum possible projects. Okay, now there is something known as capital. And this is a bit confusing here because the answer also because you need to return maximum capital right maximum capital you need to return so think of this maximum capital as maximum money you can get maximum money you can get now there is one line in the problem that says in order to do a project of i you must have capital of i so that means see uh, if you forget about this capital let's say there is nothing like that such thing like capital and if you want to do two projects which two projects you will choose you will choose two maximum projects that is the project with a profit three and project with a profit two correct if you have nothing like capital then you will choose maximum pro uh, profit projects uh, simple as it is now since you have capital that means that says that if you want to do the project of this profit three you must have at least this capital of one correct this question says that in order uh, to do uh, project I, uh, you must have current capital should be greater than equal to capital of I. So this is the condition. See, if, if you don't have capital, then you will choose the maximum profit project. But since you have capital, then it is the constraint to choose uh, the profits, right? So initially, see, let me write here current capital. Okay. So initially the current capital was what was zero. So what uh, so and here are I will write choices. So here what choice you have? You have only choice of zeroth index choice only you have the project at zeroth index. Okay. Now so you will do this project because it requires zero capital, right? So you do this project and you earn one profit. So you earn you do you do plus one. So afterwards you have one profit. So uh, so this profit now become capital for another. So since you have one profit, what other project you can do? You can project do project of first index and second index. You have choices, right? You have two choices. Now you can do either of this project, right? Now which project you will choose from both of these? You will choose with the one with the maximum profit, correct? Simple as that. So yeah, you will choose the second index project and do plus three. Now your answer become four. And you have done two projects, so four is your answer. Got it? And if you check here, US four is your answer. So we here the question is simple that we need to choose maximum possible profit in order to return the maximum final uh, capital. We need to choose maximum profits. But to choose a profit of five, we must have that capital of five. Simple as it is. So I hope you guys understood the question. What we are doing here. If you look at this example, since we have k equal to three, uh, and so see here initially we do this. Uh, project or project at zero in, zero index because it requires zero capital. So after doing this, you will gain what? See, after doing this, you will gain capital of 
uh, our capital of zero will be increased to one right after doing this now this is done now with capital one what project you can do you can only do this project right so you will do this so capital one one will increase to what you you will add two to this so it will be increased to three now after this uh, since uh, the current capital three is greater than equal to two so yeah you can do this you will do this third project so the capital with increase to th from three to six because you each have th uh, three profits so six is our answer so what we are doing here we are doing initial capital plus profit one prof plus profit two plus profit three we are simply adding the profits and we need to maximize this correct got it so let now let us now understand this with one another example see you have this capital given you have this profits and let me take here k equals to two right uh, so here let me write down current capital and we will do a dry run okay we will do a dry run and we, I, I, I will write choices okay so initially your current capital is two your current capital is two so with that what choice you have you have only uh, one choice uh, with a capital two right this is only there is only one choice so you do this project with a capital two and its profit is what how much three you do this project right this is capital and this is its uh, profit so yeah you do uh, plus three plus three and your new capital new current capital becomes five okay so your current capital is five so you can take this project the first project with a capital three and profit four and the second project with a capital five and profit three okay now after doing this uh, you have uh, means after uh, getting your choices what you will select you will select the project with the maximum profit yeah so you will do plus three so your answer will turn out to be eight so yeah, after doing um, after doing this you will know that uh, means you have k projects and you got eight answer now instead of k is equal to two you have if you would have three then you would have only choice means after getting eight you will have only choice that is five comma three correct so you will do this project and uh, get your answer 11 right this would be answer if your k would be three so i hope you guys understood that we are simply trying doing what we are simply doing initial capital plus profit one plus profit two plus profit three we are simply maximizing this what we are doing maximizing okay now based on this uh, we need to find uh, some intuition see till now we have understood the project and what we have to, we have to do now what would be our approach and uh, so from this uh, uh, from this condition we need to find some intuition and based on the intuition we will find some approach so what what first thing you need to do is um, we need to uh, get these choices right in order to get choices from of this capital what we have to do we have to uh, something we have to do sorting like thing so that uh, let's say you have some capital like this so after doing sorted we can we can keep an eye on the window that from here to here it is possible to choose a capital then from let's say after we have increased the profit then from here to here it is possible then from here to here it is possible so we are just increasing the size of the window as you can see we are increasing the size of the window whenever our current capital increases so in order to check that uh, uh, what how much amount of capital or what all capital projects we can buy we need to sort it correct and now after sorting for each window what we need to choose maximum profit for each window we need to choose maximum profit right so how you can choose maximum profit from each window we can use we can do that by using uh, by further doing some sorting okay we need to also choose a maximum profit from each window size correct so yeah what we would do our approach would be we would uh, we would store capital capital comma profit in one area and we would sort accord with the capital we would sort this with the based on the capital and for each uh, possible capital we can take we will do we will use one priority queue what priority queue or you can say maximum heap and this will store what this will store profit or so this priority queue will store maximum possible profit with the current capital maximum possible profit with current capital so yeah this this thing will be stored in this priority queue and how this maximum how see how this uh, 
what how this uh, you will need a possible profit based on this window so this this many possible profits are there this many profits are profit possible profits are there and you will choose maximum from it so this is why priority your maximum help will work here so i hope you guys understood this that what we are simply doing in this question and based on that uh, we simply derive our approach to the solution correct so yeah let's move on to the coding part where we will gain more understanding of how to solve this question uh, so here uh, this is the question that this is the code that i have written let me just initialize okay so initially i took n as the um, total profit size then as i told you that i am sorting uh, based all the projects based on the capital so sort based on the capital then i am taken i have taken one priority queue for profits and one pointer chain now as i have told you that i will keep a window from i2 chain correct so let's say 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so let's say this is the capital item okay your initial uh, capital w is 1 let's assume and let me And let's say this is the profit area so this is cap and this is profit okay so initially w equal to one correct okay so initially what window you have you have only this window right you have only this window from i and because uh this for two it will be out of bound means this project uh, will be the capital that is project j dot first would be greater than w that is a, a current this is what this is the current capital we have so yeah this uh, loop will break for j equal to this one index one okay yeah and then so after that we took the profit what we, uh, what i have already told you we are just doing w plus profit one plus profit two plus profit three up to profit n we are just taking maximum profit at each at each uh, loop right for each project so yeah we took the profit dot top so what does top will contain this will make contain maximum possible profit okay this top will contain maximum possible profit and we pop that out means once the project is taken we can't take it again correct so yeah uh, now our i comes to here and our j will book what our window will increase till here like right? up till this j because our w was initially what initially one then it was changed to one plus two that is three now our current capital is three so our window size increase so what we will choose we will choose maximum profit because this top will give maximum profit it will it has both three and four but it will give maximum profit that is four so four plus three that is seven okay and we pop this out we pop this and this also so currently we all do we do also have this two comma three and our window size will increase to up till seven right so we will push all this into this priority queue profit and we will take maximum profit out of it okay let's choose maximum profit so seven plus eight how much it's 15 so we will do all this up till k that is key number of projects that are there so this is how this code works that each time we we keep increasing our j right that is the maximum possible capital we can take and from that maximum possible capital we are choosing the profit maximum profit okay so yeah i hope you guys understood the question the intuition as well as the approach for this question and if you have still any doubt then do let me in the comment section now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity here is big of n as you can see that we are sorting as well as this priority queue both will take big of n time complexity sorry uh, no, sorry sorry not big of n it's big of n log n both the sorting and the priority queue both will take big of n log n and the space complexity here would be big of n as we are storing n uh, this vector is of size n as well as the priority queue at max at max it will store n elements in the worst case so yeah you can say the space complexity is big of n so that's all for this video uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and I, uh, if you find this really helpful, then do comment your feedback. So it will help YouTube algorithm to promote this video. So thanks for your support. Thank you.